What's up, boys? We're taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. Prize Picks is my favorite website and app for some NBA player props. All player props, really, just in general for any sport. Highly recommend joining Prize Picks. It's available in most states and Canada. You guys can win up to 10 times your money. Use code DUMG when you guys do go and sign up and miss your first deposit 100% up to $100. Bunch of you guys have been using my code. I seriously do appreciate it when you guys use my code because it helps me out and helps you guys out as well when you guys do go ahead and use the code. So, yeah, again, use code DOMG on prize picks. You guys can get up to 10 times your money. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about some of these, though. Yesterday, man, that Nets game sucked for player props. We got killed. I think the Warriors game, that was really good for most people, but, dude, everything was just off yesterday with that Nets game. It was horrible. James Harden played like trash. He was like, what did you shoot? Three for 17, I think it was, he shot. It's horrible. Um, but yeah, Kyrie fell short because of the blowout. I don't think anyone thought the Nets were going to go into Philadelphia and just completely blow them out of the water. I don't think anyone thought that much. So kind of wild for sure. Uh, that game was pretty bad for some player props. So we bounced back today. We got a huge slate. So usually a small slate though, they really kill you. So I hope you guys played a little bit lighter than usual last night. But we got a bigger slate tonight and I'm feeling pretty good about tonight. So trying to bounce back from that uh, horrible night last night. But if anyone's new, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. Those are things really help me out. Bare minimum, though, just leave a like on the video. It helps me out a ton. When you guys do go ahead and at least leave a like. But let's go ahead and talk about these player props here. I got three for you guys. Two point props and one assist prop. Let's take a look at the first one here. It's going to be Freddie Van Vliet over 20, 20 points. He was at 20 and a half. I'm not sure why they bumped it down by half a point. Kind of weird. A little bit sketched out by that, uh, to be honest. I'm not sure why they dropped it by half a point. Don't feel good about that, not going to lie. But uh, he is in a pretty good spot, though, uh, versus Phoenix tonight. So he's at 20 points. He is averaging 16.8 in his last five games, but that was including the All-Star game, which really doesn't count, and the Charlotte game. But if you take more of a look into this one here, I mean, he's hitting two games back for, back from injury. I mean, 24 and 26 in those two games. And uh, he has hit in 51% of his games this season. He is 7 out of 10 in his last 10 games and is 1 for 1 this season versus Phoenix with 21 points so he had 21 points in our last matchup i don't remember the exact date when it was but he is also 7 out of 10 in his last 10 games and 51 percent this season this website right here is called rotorwire nba starting lineups this website is obviously called prize picks and this website is called FanDuel nba defense versus position on fantasy pros but this website we're to be taking a look at right now we're taking a look at the point guard uh he's projected to start up point guard fred van vliet is uh, against the phoenix suns he's a it's a five point spread in this game 223 over under so it's pretty healthy should hopefully not blow out although every game can pretty much blow out and uh 223 over under right there so let's take a look at the point guard though this season uh against the uh, phoenix suns and suns are allowing the three six seven eight they're allowing the eighth most points per game to the point guard position so far this season per this uh fantasy pros right here uh, let's take a look at the last seven games though and see where phoenix is at and phoenix is definitely on the little bit of a tougher side uh, in the last seven games at least so three six seven eight nine ten so around the 10th least amount of points to the point guard position in the last 10 games so always tell everything at your own risk always uh, do your research all that different stuff but that's one that i'm kind of eyeing a little bit today is fred van vliet but i'm not gonna lie they bumped this down which i'm kind of sketched out about i really don't like when they do that uh because usually they have something on their uh, mind and uh, for there's obviously a reason they bumped it down so we'll see but uh, let's take a look at another point prop here. It's the one that I'm liking a little bit here. It's going to be Chris Stapp's Porzingis over 18 and a half points here. Two for two with the Wizards this season. So he's averaging 16 in his last five games. So that's factoring in the, Indianap or the uh, Indiana game where he got hurt, I believe. But uh, so he's a 58% hit rate this season. Two for two with the Wizards this season. And he had 23 in the last matchup versus the Lakers this season. So he's one for one against the Lakers this season. This game is at 10:40 tonight Eastern Time, but uh, let's take a look at this game. So 10:30 right here, Washington and the Lakers. He's projected to start at center. It's a four and a half point spread, 229 over under. So it's a good looking over under, good spread, pretty healthy for the most part. LeBron may not play, which could help him out maybe a little bit there for Pazingas. But let's take a look at this one here. So season long points versus the Lakers to be center. So the Lakers season long are kind of about right in the middle there. They're allowing 22.23 points per game to the center position. Uh, if you take a look at the last seven games without AD, and they get a lot easier. They're allowing the fifth most points to the center position per game uh, in the NBA. This se or I'm sorry, in the uh, last seven games. So without AD and how they've been playing the last seven games, LeBron's been starting at center a little bit. 
they've been allowing quite a bit of points to the uh, center position. So I'm liking this quite a bit for Chris Stapps Porzingis to once again go over with the Washington Wizards. I also believe he's resting tomorrow, which is good news uh, because he might play a little bit more minutes than he has the last two games. So that's obviously not guaranteed or anything. That's just kind of speculation, but uh, that's I, that's one I'm definitely liking for today. All right, last player prop here. We'll be taking a look at an assist prop here. It's going to be RJ Barrett, over three and a half assists. This looks like a monster hit rate. I mean, five out of five hit rate in his last five games, averaging 5.2 in his last five games here. He needs to grab at least four today. Dish out four, hopefully. But uh, he is only a 33% hit rate this season, but he has been passing a lot more lately, obviously, uh, because he's eight out of 10 in his last 10 games of hitting this prop. Uh, he did have only one last matchup, though, which was on February 2nd. But like I said, he's been passing a lot more lately as he is eight out of 10 hit rate in his last 10 games. So we'll take a look at RJ Barrett today against the Memphis Grizzlies, um, which is it's at 810 tonight. So it should be right here. Um, so RJ Barrett, small forward, going against the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a nine and a half point spread, 229 over under. So there is definitely blow up potential here. So got to kind of hope that, uh, you know, it's not a complete blowout here for the mix. But uh, the good news is, though, that this is a high over under game. The way the Knicks usually play are very slow, fast paced games. And the over under is usually about like 217, I feel like, somewhere around there. Uh, and he's in a higher pass, fast paced game, which should mean hopefully more assist opportunities at least that's just obviously speculation but this is what we're kind of hoping for but a season-long small forward assists versus the memphis grizzlies here so memphis here is on the easier side three six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen they're on the 13th most assist per game this season to the small forward position and the last seven games here memphis is even easier three six seven they're on the seventh most assists in the last seven games to the small forward position. So a guy who's hitting eight out of his last 10 games is should be in a higher fast paced game against Memphis today. Um, and hit eight of his last 10 games. This is gonna be my favorite player prop of the night, man. Uh, RJ Barrett over three and a half assists. Right now, this is my favorite. A lot of things could end up changing throughout the day. Odds will change throughout the day, all that different stuff. But as of right now, I'm loving RJ Barrett for sure. Over three and a half assists. That is my favorite of the night. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, man. I seriously do appreciate you guys watching. Again, if anyone is new, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. Those are the things that really help me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But, yeah, again, use code DOMG on prize picks and match your first deposit 100% up to $100. And let me know what uh, your favorite player props are down in the comments if you guys wish to share. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling for tonight. But uh, I'm for a much better one tonight. It's 10 games slate, so thought I'd give you guys uh, three more player props for tonight. So uh, just to kind of recap, because I don't think I actually did that yet. Uh, Fred Van Vliet over 20 and a half. Porzingis over 18 and a half points. Uh, Fred Van Vliet was obviously over 20 and a half points. And then uh, RJ Barrett over three and a half assists. So that's going to do it. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.